Welcome along to the next round. We are at Austin. We have got another sprint qualifying to come. And we're hoping for... Well, we're hoping to get that point scoring position at some point. It's been a while since we actually went out and got some points. It feels like a long time ago. And we're very much up against it with the points and the cars. I'll see a lot of improvement from McLaren and Haas in the season. Ours was great. And then we slowed it down because we wanted to focus on next year. So we're doing okay. We're still being in that P11, P14 positions. And we're going to be the same again. The question is, can we get through to Q3? We're going to let a lot of these do some runs. We're going to send our cars out in a bit of free air. Like so. And we're going to let these run over for the first... Oh, we don't want to do that. First time. So... Qualifying time. Q1 for the sprint. Albon is a go, go, go here in Q1. Up the hill into the left hand down through the snaking S's now. And we're going to hope for a decent lap time. Let's see where we do. It's green. 25.7 for the first sector. Porsche is usually off the sky. 25.3. Four tenths quicker than Albon through sector one alone. So, decent start. What about as we come into Sector 2? And what sort of time is Albon going to put in? Let's find out. 38.7 is that middle sector time. Porsche expecting 38.0. It's a good, good sector time from Porsche. Not sure how good it is. We're about to find out as we cross the line from our first lap completion. And Albon only P14. We expected it was going to be a not that good, considering where Porsche is. And Porsche now coming over the line. Wow! Jesus! Porsche with a lap and a half. Here we go. Albon is under pressure here in Austin. In Q1, he is currently last after an awful first-timed run. We are on fresh boots for both drivers. Porsche was the big, big winner after them first runs. You can see one... 0.3 seconds off the pace and that was a great little lap Norris going out would be massive for us as well we're going to get a bit of traffic who is that with? that is with Porsche so I'm not too concerned about that traffic it's an improvement 25.6 for the first sector for Albon he's got DRS as well Haas gets out of the way nicely we're going to be towed along by the Alfa Romeo 38.6 through the middle Porsche I don't think it's going to be improving he's not it's still a lot quicker uh, this is not great from Albon still. Albon is not going to get through here. This is unusual from Alex Albon. He's still going to get a very slow time, I think. Because M Porsche slow laps are so much quicker. And across the line, I'm not sure where Alex Albon's pace has gone. 2.8 seconds off the pace. What? So I really don't know what's happened to Albon. You can see everyone's starting to take penalties as well now. I don't really know. Moderate rain on Sunday is going to be interesting. But that's very strange from Mr. Albon. Very, very strange. We should have changed tyres there. Let's use some used to, for the first lap. Very interesting. We're going to send Porsche out. Used tyres for the first flying lap in Q2. And we're going to just see what sort of time we can put together as we cross the line. He's only two temps off the Alpine. That is still a great time. I'm so confused about what happened to Albon. He, I don't know how he's dropped so much. But at the minute, that's not too bad of a time. New softs to come as well. Let's get them reconfigured and ready. Eight minutes on the clock. So we are sending Porsche then for his lap. His last flying lap of Q2. And he is just on the edge, but we've got Hamilton, obviously, you can see in P12. So, well, let's see what we can do. We've only got a couple of attempts until 8th, so good lap time is needed here. We're going to get some clear air, I think, as well, because the Mercedes is already going through the S's. And round the first corner we go, Porsche. Looks neat and tidy so far. Through them famous S's we go. First sector hasn't improved, 25.4. We've got a Mercedes ahead of us now. He gets out of the way. And maybe a little bit of DRS toe down the straight, potentially from the Aston Martin. Not quite. He moves out of the way too nicely. And through that middle sector, 
we are about to find out what our time is. New softs, we're just not improving again. We don't seem to improve on new softs. 38-2. And I think this could be curtains for Porsche. Air. P11. And as we come across the line, he isn't going to improve. He does go green in the final sector, but it is still off the pace. And that is going to conclude our qualifying session. Hamilton should improve. And he does. He knocks his teammate out at the moment. But then coming back, Hamilton is out. Porsche is out in P12. Lewis Hamilton out. And it is Haas getting through. Shocks. Q3, Carlos Sainz for Ferrari. And we will line up P12. And P14 or something, I think it was. Maybe, no, last, isn't it, for Albon? Last. Let's see what we can do in the race, though, for the first sprint. So here we go for sprint race, then. Mediums are showing the best, but you can tell what's going to happen. I wonder if we're going to get back onto softs for the rest of the field. This is what happened in Qatar. And we're spaced out, ready to go. Ferrari, Red Bull, Red Bull, Ferrari. Aston Martins there, Alpines. Can we get a good start? Albon at the back. Should be able to watch all the pieces come together in front of him. And instead, for us, we've got Porsche getting squeezed, but he's in P12. Albon has sat down nicely still at the back, just watching out. Tyres, it is mediums for everybody this time round. It is no dodgy strategy on the go. And we're only a tenth behind Lewis Hamilton with that poor qualifying that he had. And we're actually looking at a move. That would be interesting to get past Hamilton. As we come down after the end of the straight into the end of sector two. And we're still bang there. Magnussen not going to get any points from 10th. But obviously would start 10th maybe after the penalties even higher. But at the moment we're P12 and P20. Albon hasn't made any moves on the race lap one. We've got DRS now enabled as well. We're going to try and keep in charge of this Hamilton car ahead and we're actually moving to the right hand side through the S's. This is dangerous and I think we've got him. Oh, it's getting close. Oh, I don't like it. Hamilton, I think, has just edged it. DRS is going to be available. We go to the outside. This is asking for trouble and we get a great exit and Porsche has just overtaken a Mercedes. And Porsche, just to remind you, has got better engine and here we go on the Haas. And I tell you what, having a bit of newer, fresher parts on helps a treat. We've got Albon who's moved to P19. And now Alex Albon, we're going to continue to push and see if we can just get past Ocon because he's on momentum. His momentum is absolutely sending him at the moment. We've got to cut down, leave that on aggressive, and we're going to make another move here, are we? It is Ocon ahead of us. And I don't think we are going to get past. We are going to conserve now, which means we probably go backwards. But on lap three, we've pulled one second to Magnussen. We've got Porsche four temps, which is just extending out behind Ocon. So a very good start from Porsche. That is what we want to see from our man. But let's just call the tyres. P10. And... So Hamilton is coming back at Porsche. It's all systems go again like it was earlier. And I think Hamilton is just going to squeeze us out here. And yes, he is. We're just looking after our tyres, bringing the temperature down. It's very slow through here. And he is going to take us. But I think we'll get DRS. We'll give it a go back on the power unit. We're going to also deploy on Albon. Can Porsche get the Mercedes back? Exit is fairly decent out of the corner. Hamilton is going to look to defend. And into the sun we go. Porsche... He's back ahead, and he's got a car's width now ahead as well. And he's got the position nicely. He's in to P10 again. What about Albon? 15 laps to go. Can cruises up to the back of the Haas. We're trying to keep Mercedes behind. It's going to be too tough, I reckon. Okay. So we are struggling. 10 laps to go. You can see the tyres are hot, and that is because we're stuck behind a nice train of cars. That includes Oscar Piastri. We're going to try and make a move by the look of it. And it's going to get good exit as well, I think, out of the corner. They're side by side. 
McLaren maybe with the stronger top speed but it's going to be into the first corner we are about to go can we get the move done up the inside we do we do finally get the move done Alex Albon moves up into P18 Porsche is still keeping Lewis Hamilton behind him let's take a look at tyres quickly we've used a little bit more no we've used the same so we're actually in a, a very nice position but we've got to keep behind Hamilton that's going to be harder than what we think. Albon has cleared Piastri. That's what we wanted to see. Porsche has got three temps, now five. We're just deploying down the straight every time. And he's just catching, just catching. But we're going to hold him off at the straight. Power unit, the ERS system, working very well. This is an OK sprint. We've dropped to Ocon. We know the Alpines are faster. We know Hamilton is faster. But at the minute, we're doing okay. And look at these for some cars that are ahead. This is why our tyres are hurting. Because we just can't get past at the moment. We're going to deploy Albon. Albon is just really not being able to get past this train of cars. He's in a back, literally a DRS train every time he goes through. And he's going to look at a move potentially into turn one here. But he can't get it done. He's going to do the old switcheroo maybe. Try and get good traction. And he's going to go to the inside here. He does get good traction. Deploying. And Alex Albon has sent Hulkenberg behind. They're just going to touch briefly. But it is a great move. It is up to P17. And now we've got the other McLaren. And an Alfa Romeo of Valtteri Bottas running high with a nosebleed. Oh, and here comes the Haas. Where's that come from? Oh, he's just going to grab us, I think. We're going to be neck and neck into the corner. And he has just got us. But on exit, we get a beautiful traction. Acceleration working a treat there. P17 for Albon. He is closing as well. I mean, ERS is a bit of an issue right now. But we're going to go to the inside. And we aren't going to make a move. It is still P17. Porsche holding off Hamilton still. So we have three laps to go. And Mr. Porsche is still mixing it out there. We're just moving to push now to use some of this fuel. And I think what's actually happened is Hamilton has managed to save a little bit of tyre. That's going to be our issue. Verstappen has started lap 18. We have got... I mean, we're lapping a tenth quicker last time round than Hamilton, but he's only four attempts behind us, and I think Hamilton might have just managed this perfectly to get into the top ten. But down the straight we go. Hamilton, we've got good exit. We seem to have good acceleration. And we're just keeping him behind for now. Four attempts, five attempts is the gap. Closing through the S's as well. We've got one more lap after this one. That's all we've got to do to hold on. And the gap is five tenths of a second. We're into the 20% which is tough for us. One tenth now. We've got good acceleration. That's our... Literally, and look how quick Hamilton is coming at us. And Hamilton, you know, has timed that to perfection. Has absolutely timed it to perfection. He's passed. He was just toying with us for ages. And it looks like Porsche is going to finish in P11, which will take Albon. He's still going for it. My man, he's still trying to get past an Alpha Tauri of Yuki Tsunoda to take P14. We're going to deploy our ERS system down the straight because we're going to get DRS as we come out of it. Low on pack. But to the outside we go. And Alex Albon has moved to P14. But who's braver on the brakes? It is the Williams driver. But the Alpha Tauri trying to come back is not going to get back. Porsche. Still within four temps of Lewis Hamilton. We're going to attack. We're going to use... We've got five and a half seconds as the gap. We are deploying anyway. Hamilton into that corner. Can we get good exit? Five temps. We've got a decent exit from that corner. And here we go again. Theo Porsche to get back past Hamilton. Which way is he going to go? Is he going to keep it to the outside? Which way? Which way? He's not going to go for it, you know. He's going to wait. And here comes a potential another chance of an overtake. He's right behind Lewis Hamilton. Toys are struggling very much on the edge. 
This is a great little sprint race. Albon, not going to catch anyone. Porsche, I don't think he's going to catch Hamilton. But it, we've had a great battle. Perez down in P6 for Red Bull. That's not great for them in their battle with Ferrari. But then coming across the line, it looks like we are going to finish. Hamilton just defending middle of the track as we come round the final corner. Porsche. Oh, no. I've just run out of fuel. Oh, no. I thought I was safe on fuel. We were only a little bit underneath. <laughs> oh, no. We are learning the hard way on this game. We are out. <laughs> I thought we were safe. What a rookie mistake. And now we've got to start from the back in the main race. Oh, you... Oh, my God. Moderate rain in the race as well, which makes it even worse. I am a little bit gutted, if I say so, guys. We have made a big mistake. Big, big mistake. <sighs> I thought we'd be fine. I thought we could finish just under. And we were literally 100 yards away. We're going to get some rain pretty quickly in this race. So I think we're just going to stick on strategy A. And then we'll work out what the rain is doing. I am fuming. We are starting 18th. We should have been starting P11. No way. No way. But can we get some positions back? You learn from your mistakes. We would have been nicely there though. We are not. But Porsche 18th, Album P10. Let's see. Everyone looking like they're on a soft tyre. And they are because of the rain that's coming in. But Album has made a decent start. He's in P10. Picking up the pieces from Porsche. We've got yellow flag out there as well. And who was that? That was Russell running wide in turn four. Doesn't really affect us too much. He's up there in P7. As we close up, Hamilton making a move on Ocon. And Hamilton's top speed is not great because here we go again on Hamilton. And it's a different Williams this time who has made it through past. What a move by Albon. Porsche has got the Alfa Romeo. He'll be angry. Make sure we don't lose that fuel this time. But two tenths is the gap to Ocon in this main race. Weather inbound and that rain is going to be coming in in a matter of around four or five laps. So it's going to get pretty tricky. We're going to gain obviously the fuel back as well. So we can just keep pushing these at the moment. Porsche going through the S's now with the Alfa Romeo ahead. Albon six tenths, five tenths the gap to Ocon. Hamilton's going to be bang there like he always is. But we get good exit and acceleration that we can keep on pushing. We can keep pushing these tyres as well for a little bit longer because this wet weather is going to be coming in and it's going to get an absolute stampede in there. We are catching up to the back now of the Alpine. Let's just cut down to neutral on that. Set nearly a second to Hamilton. As we're right on the Alpine, we've got good acceleration, DRS enabled, which will trigger next time round we get to the point. We are right behind. We're going to leave it on aggressive. We're going to cut the fuel. Or actually, I think we won't cut the fuel. I think we continue the fuel push because this rain's going to come back and earn us the fuel pretty quick. Where are we? A couple of laps until the rain comes in. Let's stay on board for now because we are... Trying to battle Esteban Ocon ahead of us. Oh my god, we close up quickly. And the Frenchman parking it very well. Hamilton's dropped a second and a half. We're probably the one that's using most of the tyre out here. Oh, we're not. Stroll, 65%. They must have been unused. But four temps now is the gap. We're going to try and just close still with Albon. Because he's in a good position in P9 here. Deploying down this straight. Into turn one. We're going to go round the outside. Oh, what a move by Albon. Yellow flags are out as well. Porsche's going slow. Don't tell me it's Mr. Porsche again. 
Albon overtakes Ocon. We've seen that happen. Let's watch Ocon on board. There was a crash. I feel like it was... No, it wasn't Porsche Air then. Thank God. Into turn one. Turns in. Ooh, a bit of wing damage. That's why we were slow. Coming out of the corner. But Alex Albon, at the minute, is P8. Well, you've got rain coming. We know that. That rain is going to be pretty wet. And it's Piastri who gets a penalty. Porsche right behind them. Going to use that power unit. ERS system. Ocon, we've managed to breach. Got a good gap. What about Porsche though? He's coming at Piastri now. He's just got a penalty. It's going to get matters worse for Piastri. And we're up to P16. We are on the fight back here in Austin. After a very bad result in the sprint we weren't going to get points anyway but it doesn't matter Porsche is through Porsche P16 Albon very nicely in P8 tyres yeah they're, they're tricky but we know what's coming we're using a lot more fuel a lot more battery and as we start lap 5 this rain is about to come in. It should be any minute now. And rain has arrived. When does the track go to dry? Uh, sorry, when does it go to damp? In literally five minutes. So we've got to hang in there. And here we come again. We are flying at the moment. We're going to take two cars, I think, here. Oh, we've took Stroll. What a move, or have we? I think Stroll's just going to stay ahead. Or are we going to get back through? What a battle. I don't know who to pick here. Porsche's got past Magnussen. And Albon has to give up that position. And I think this is getting pretty wet now. I think it's time for a pit stop. On intermediates. Let's take a look at the weather. And it's going to change to damp in four minutes. But it's at 0.5. So I think we pit with both here. Like so. I think this is the lap where we say, let's go and get in the pits. We're going to attack. We're going to attack with both. Definitely, I think this is the right time to pit. 0.7. It's not far off. And we come down the straight again. Russell and Stroll both fighting. We're going to go to the outside nearly. Thought about it. Couldn't get that done. These two fighting along. It's now 0.8. It's about to go damp, surely. And we're going to bring in Mr. Albon now. And everyone is pitting. Everybody is pitting. So I think this is the right lap. This is going to be chaos. So we're in P5 at the minute. P4 it gets better because of all the pit stops. And everyone's going to be double stacking as well, remember. We have got a very slow pit time. But I tell you what. We are out in P5. Where's Porsche? Porsche is going to make three places as well. That is tremendous work by Williams. Slow pit stop by Albon as well. He got held. And we are in the music. P5 for Albon on the intermediates. We've got fuel that's good. We are looking good. Let's try and sort that out. We're fine. So we can go down to standard. We'll get Porsche's tyres up to speed. Okay. Like so. And we'll go to standard. And now, it's all about damage limitation. Lap 7. The rain is here. Where can we finish? Yellow flag is out. And is that just a car going wide or has there been a crash? Piastri spun. But Albon's P5. And we've got Porsche in P12. We are being hunted, folks. Lap 8. We know the big boys were going to come back at us. Yeah, well, here they are. It is George Russell who is trying to get past us. We're not going to fight too much because we don't want to lose too much time here. We are on decent points at the minute. We don't want to wreck that. And you can see the track is getting a lot wetter now. No DRS either. Oh, it looked like Russell went into the back of us. And that Mercedes is going to be using all of its power. But DRS is going to help here. 
No DRS meaning they don't get the extra pace advantage even more. And you can see the speed that the Mercedes has over our Williams car. We are going to deploy coming out of this corner. Can we hold on and fight off? Sainz is right there as well. And this is all on. Great little exit out of the corner using all of that ERS. We're going to go back to neutral halfway down. Pochere's up to P11. And we do keep ahead at the moment. We are just looking after intermediate tyres. Is it going to stay intermediates? Pretty much all the way through the race. Yellow flag again. This time it was Perez running wide. And that is from P2. Let's deploy again. See if we can just keep him at bay. We're doing a very good job here in P5. This is not what I expected. You know what usually happens when we run P5? We get some sort of accident. So to be in this position at the moment on lap 10 is absolutely brilliant for us. And we're actually building a bit of a gap. Let's deploy again out of here. Obviously we don't need that second gap. Fuel's coming back to us all the time. And this is a very good masterclass at the moment. What's happened to Perez up top? Perez fighting at the moment with Leclerc. So Ferrari's doing battle. But at the minute, lap 10, expect Russell Saint Stroll all to come back. But we're not doing bad at all. Well, it wasn't long. It wasn't long. Albon has lost the position. And Carlos Sainz is coming for us as well. So Russell gets us on the exit. And now Russell is down to 7th. But we have got good acceleration on this Williams at the moment. We have got back ahead of Sainz. We are going to try maybe a move on Russell. We're just holding off. Stroll's catching up as well. And we are still into P6. Tyres... These could go to the end, you know. <laughs> so, so brave by the boys. The science has now got us down the straight. Lap 13. This is where we're going backwards. We're probably going to lose out to Stroll. Yeah, and awesome. then Norris, we've got a nice gap. Paul Cher is doing a decent job in P11. And Stroll is right behind us now. Science has quickly got the gap, as you'd expect from a top two team. But Aston Martin are not too shabby either. Into the corner we go. And it's now good acceleration. That's our real thing. But Stroll in the Aston Martin is coming quick at us. And I think this could be job done on the Aston Martin's got us. We are out on to P8. So we've just got to look after now our tyres. We'll build the fuel because I think we'll push later on when everyone gets a bit tired. And actually looking at the tyres, we've got the best tyres out there. So we've just got to be patient. So here's a chance. We have got lap 17. This is for a point in the championship. Porsche going to the outside. And he's going to try and hang it out there. Can't get that job done. We're going to deploy ERS down the straight. This is a turning into a fantastic race. Norris, we know this Williams is good on acceleration. McLaren's good as well. It's a straight race to turn one. Don't think we're going to get the job done here. Not yet. So maybe it's not our time. But we're just going to conserve on the ERS system. Albon's 1.7 away. We've still got a 7.4 second gap to Ocon. And I'm very impressed with the acceleration we've got in this race. Very impressed. And here we go. We are level again. Poor Cher. Has he finally got past Norris? Let's check that out again. We've got Hamilton right behind us as well. And an Alpine. Two quicker cars. And Theo Poor Cher has took the inside line. And I think that is us a tenth ahead. And now we got both cars in the points. We've actually got really good fuel as well. I'm not sure if we're going to have to pit again here. We are just trying to manage nicely. We deploy down the straight. Four temps is the gap. If we can keep this up and save the fuel, we'll definitely be pushing later on. So it's short-lived because lap 22, it's all battles here. 
and it's all because of the bigger cars coming through the fields as well and that is Lewis Hamilton going through the S's at the moment trying to take on poor Cher we don't want an accident we'll let him go because let's have a look at the tyres everyone has now come back to us a little bit so poor Cher out the points but that's expected Hamilton to get back past us we're going to deploy our ERS system. We know we've got good acceleration versus this Mercedes. And you can see now already that Mercedes lacking in probably would say top speed and acceleration. Because here we go again against the Mercedes. Poor Cher. Is he going to hang one on the outside? I think he is. Is he going to get better acceleration? He is at the minute, but can he hold this position? He moves up to P10, squeezes the Mercedes, who's got the inside line. And if he can defend here, which he can't, Hamilton moves ahead. But Porsche gets a great exit again. And I think this time we are in. Back in to P10. So this is going to be crazy to keep hold of Hamilton here. Hamilton used a bit more tyres than us. But Porsche is battling bravely. Interestingly, Ocon has pitted early for some inters. That is a very early stop, which means that these inters are not going to go to the end. But we've got so much fuel that I might start go. I don't want to go aggressive because that line is surely not going to get to lap 56. So I might just start moving to aggressive then. We are in. 8th and 9th because of that pit stop so this is looking very very nice for our Williams team and as Ocon is out he's going to be stuck in a bit of traffic as well we are currently I mean Hamilton must have made a mistake because obviously poor Sherry is ahead of him so we obviously missed that unless Hamilton has pitted he hasn't so he must have made a mistake for us to be both cars ahead and this is a fantastic race well, no, Paul Cher was battling Hamilton, wasn't he? That's right, that's right. So quite a lot of cars are pitting at the moment. We've still got good life in these tyres. I mean, we're on 50%. We are in P6 and P9. We've got Sainz closing us down, who's just come in for a pit stop. And he's come out on some fresh inters. So we're going to just keep an eye on the times here. And I expect Sainz to get past us very, very quickly. But... I kind of want to drag it out and then come back because we're going to have two. We've got so much fuel that I am just looking after. Because we're not expecting to beat the Ferraris in this race, let's be honest. So as long as we can keep going. And I think it's a bit too early for a pit stop as Sainz does now get past us. And he does a 1.8 second lap quicker than ourselves. So Sainz moves up to P6. Norris and Gasly pit. So everybody is pitting. It is definitely... Another stop to do in this race. You can see, definitely. We're just about coming up to 25 laps on the intermediates. And we've got at lap 30. So, I kind of do want to stretch this out a little bit. I think it's a bit too early. Let's check the weather. It's going to stay, I feel, inters all the way through. So, we have compromised ourselves a bit. But we are going to then come in for some more inters here with Albon and we are full blown attack now I feel like we've gave this long enough than we can we're going to attack and we're going to push so pit top time we are going to lose some positions but look at the tyres around us they're all on 80s we've stretched it out 20 laps to go and I think now with the fuel that we've got available this is our chance to shine Porsche will be coming in Albon will be coming in Good laps needed here. Get these up to speed quickly. Both cars in the pit lane at the same time. 3.2, that's not too bad. And where are we going to come back out? The good news is we're going to come back out ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Six seconds, unless that resets. Porsche, we knew, was battling Hamilton. And he's lost quite a bit of time. He's lost around 10 seconds by doing what we've done. But we've played the long game. On the tyres. And unless this goes to wets now. That will be our issue. We're going to go aggressive. We're going to keep the fuel going as well. And let's see who we can catch. 
So the first car we're battling on lap 39 is Fiat Porsche versus Norris. This is looking a lot wetter. It's still showing damp though, but it is certainly getting a lot wetter out here. Maybe that's why they pitted early the AI and we made the mistake of staying out potentially. But, I mean, are we in this wet phase? We are, so it's going to get a bit better if we can hang the tyres out. As we now start to close on the McLaren. Surely we can get good acceleration on these intermediates. Get into P12. And here we come. Look at the speed difference. This is what we need. This is what we need, boys and girls. But are we going to get through? We're deploying everything. McLaren's pretty fast in a straight line. It's going to look at the outside. It's not going to make the move. Albon, kind of in a world of his own. Four and a half seconds adrift from Ocon. Porsche is still fighting. Is he going to make a move up the inside here? I think he's thinking about it. And Albon is absolutely flying at the minute. 4.4 seconds. Come on. Porsche is trying. He is trying, bless him. Can we make a move? ERS is out. We know that. We're trying to push, folks. Not yet, we're not. So, P9, P13. Back to the point at the moment. So here, on lap 44, guess what's about to happen? Look at this. In a round with about three or four laps to go, it is set to go to dry. Work that strategy out for you. We're sat P9. We want it to rain to the end of the race. This could throw a complete spanner in the work. And Porsche is look at the track. It looks dry. It's not dry. It's still damp. But when do we pull the trigger and say go to softs? When will that be? This is crucial at the moment. You can see it's getting dry. It is going to be dry in one minute. This could be make or break. Oh my god, what do we do? We're still going to keep it going at the moment. And obviously Porsche has got a nice gap now. We probably should have used the fuel a lot earlier. But we haven't. 1.7, if that gets down to about 0.8, I will be bringing them in. But we've only got eight laps left. Oh, this is this is danger zone, guys. Strategy is key here. Because we're closing on the field. And now... It is under a mil. 1.0. It is dry. Do we pit Albon straight away? It is drying pretty quick. And, and the leaders are in. The leaders are in. So we are going to softs. That is a firm. If the leaders do it, we do it. We are now going to push hard to close this gap. We've got everything to lose. But it's pit time. You can see some of the cars from behind pitting as well. Still 0.9 though. That's the interesting part. We've still not hit that full dry stage yet. Science has a pit stop issue. That's probably because of the double stack. Everyone is now flying in. Luckily, we've got a bit of gap until we come out. We're only two and a half seconds behind Ocon. And I think everybody will be going to softs. Yes, leaders are out there still on the intermediates. Risky business. But we're in it for a chocolate biscuit. Ocon pits. We are going to pit as well. Porsche will get in the pits as well from P12. Well, it's all change. All change. We're not going to get big, big positions here. But we are out. There's Ocon. We are right behind Ocon. Must have been a slow stop. And now, it is systems go. Albon is in P9. Ocon P8. This is a chance for our Williams team to get some points. Yellow flag. We're on the last lap. Oh, no, that is the last lap. <laughs> what? Max Verstappen? And it's the intermediates of potentially Alonso. Oh, there's a big crash. Big crash. 
Are they out? Verstappen carries on and Alonso carries on. Oh man, I thought they were out. I thought we were about to get more points. Damn it. But Alonso carries on though on the intermediates. Albon is quite far back, but here's a move on Esteban Ocon. We are moving up to P8. We are got flying. We've got so much fuel left. We've took Ocon in the Alpine with 26 seconds behind. And Alonso has taken a five second penalty to add to his woes. Still out there on the Inters. Must be going. I mean, it's still 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Well, the thing is, we can't lose it now. It shows 42.7. That's interestingly changed. That must have bugged. Got to have bugged. It's got to reset as we cross the line. We are not. We are just. We are only just about 22 seconds. And he's only there. Yeah, it's going back down now. 32.7, 27.5. Archon right behind us. Poor Cher's not going to get any points. He's actually tried really well from where he was from our absolute mistake in the sprint race where we absolutely cost him big points. It's not going to be too bad. We've just got to keep Ocon behind here. We've got six laps left. And there's quite a few pit stops here. Alonso is in the pit. He's taking his five-second pit penalty. Albon is coming round the final corner. Alonso is now coming up the hill. I don't think we're going to get. Six to go. And there is the Aston Martin. There is a chance when he's got warm-up issues that we can get C7. We are hammering these tyres at the moment. We have got so much fuel to use. We are trying to close on the Aston Martin. Maybe a bit of confidence stricken from that crash with Verstappen, but you can see we're closing all the time. We're going to use our ERS for the straight. We have close up. We get good acceleration. And here we go. Alex Albon, come on. We're in to P7. And we're going to leave these pushing. What a move. Oh, can we keep them behind? It's going to be... In oh, it's going to be so difficult. But we're going to try. One tenth. They're right behind us. I told you warm-up issues would be a problem. I think that might be the problem done and dusted because here comes the Aston Martin against us again. We're going to stay ahead. We've just got to battle this as much as we can. It's going to be nip and tuck. Ocon is there as well, just waiting to pick up the pieces. Russell is down the end of the straight, so we're quite far away from them. Six temps now is the gap. We know we get good acceleration. We get that again. But Alonso is coming. Look how quick he is accelerating. He goes to the outside. And what a move from Fernando. That is why he's a former world champion. He's into P7. We move back down to P8. Poor Cher is P12. He is closing, but not enough. And now we're going to go at it again. Here we go. It is round two of the attempt. And we are back ahead into P7. This would be our highest finish ever after finishing P8 twice. Alonso coming back at us. Do not crash, boys. Come on. Do not be stupid about this. Alonso gets back past us, but we're going to deploy again down the straight. Three laps to go. That's all we've got. And now we come back at Alonso. Move to the left. And we're back through. <laughs> what a move. Oh, no, not a move, because he's back through again. This Aston Martin is so quick. No wonder he was battling at the front. So he gets him again. We're going to deploy. Even though it says we've got nothing, we're still going to do it. See if we can come out of the corner. But I think that is where this dries up. Because now he's got seven temps on us. Don't think we're going to be able to catch him. Tyres are hot. Yeah, we'll worry about that in a minute. But I don't think we're going to catch. We're trying. It is nine temps, eight temps now. It's reducing for DRS all the way down to six. But I don't think 
we are going to have the speed. But I tell you what, if we take P8 again for what is probably the third time, that is not going to be too shabby at all. We're going to stay on board for the final few laps here because we fly through them anyway. And we're still getting DRS. Tyres are hot, but that's not our last worries at the moment. On board again, still gaining that ERS system back. Alonso's pulled eight temps now. Very strong through them sector. We close back up slightly. And now we're going to deploy again down the straight. We're still just out of a second. As Verstappen, oh, it's Leclerc. Ferrari 1-2, boys. And Gills, that is massive for the championship. Perez is right behind Sainz. That is huge for the championship. As the Aston Martin is getting held up here by our Haas. We're actually going to lap a rival. And it's going to be the Haas of all cars. And we are going to start our final lap here in what is going to be a potential successful race. And we've got Zhou Guan Yu, I think it is, in front of us at the moment. Get out of the way, Zhou Guan Yu. Thank you very much. Let's watch this battle, though. Round the final few corners, just the end of Sector 2. Perez... Verstappen is well back. It is Perez trying to get Red Bull some points. This championship is going to switch again. And it's all because of what's about to happen. That has not getting out of the way at all. And into the final corner, the Ferrari is going to take. Leclerc wins. Sainz comes home second. Perez chases in third. We have dropped 2.7 seconds now to Alonso. But it's not going to matter. Because we should have used a bit more fuel in this race, potentially. Obviously, we're going to carry a kilogram over, which is huge. I mean, who can blame me after running out of fuel in the sprint? But we have got just half a lap to go. And it's going to see Alex Albon score more points in the championship. As we come down into sector two to start sector three and checkered flag is about to run Alex Albon has come home and taken P8 to get the points on the board Porsche with a very respectable having started around 17th 18th is going to come home and finish P12 so we'll absolutely take that but what a race what a strategy in the end after an absolute mistake fest in the sprint. But for us, get in. We've got more points against Haas. Leclerc, Sainz, Albon up two places, Porsche up six. And you can see, look at that, 11-point swing put Charles Leclerc back in the lead of the Constructors' Championship, or even the Drivers'. But... Nine-point swing again on the points, 681 to 690. Ferrari scoring 19 points more than Red Bull and that puts Ferrari back into the lead what a championship between them two and for us I mean look at the pit stops three stop race qualifying was bad sprint didn't finish but we are going to get more points in the bag and what a race it was there I mean just improve the drivers don't worry that is great let's look at the standings for Williams we get another four points and we are on 23 it's a seven point or eight point gap now to the Haas can we hold on to P6 well fingers crossed but join us next time as we go hunting in Mexico it's round 20